Hey everybody, it's John here. A while ago I created a test gaming channel where I posted unedited clips on TikTok and YouTube and they got pretty decent views. And in this video I want to show you how you can do that as well. Alright, I'm here on my desktop. This video is actually going to be in three parts. Part 1 cutting the clips, part 2 editing the clips, part 3 exporting. Keep in mind that even though I'm using gaming clips as an example, you can do this in whatever genre you prefer. So part 1 cutting the clips. There's actually two ways that I like to do this. So if I have a long video, a long recorded gameplay video, let's say maybe for 3 or 4 hours, I actually like to cut the clips with the video player, not with DaVinci Resolve. But I'm gonna show you guys both ways. Alright, so the first way is gonna be with the video player. So I have um, some random clip here, a random recorded gameplay clip. And we're gonna cut this clip and find a part that we want to share either on YouTube or on TikTok. And I like to do this with this player here, Movies and TV. Open it up. So there's gonna be these little dots here. Not dots, but the, like this pencil here. And press it, edit in photos, and press trim. So you're gonna see this option here where you can choose which part you want to trim. So we're gonna find where we want our clip to start. I wanted to show this ritual in a game called Cult of the Lamb. So we're gonna start it here and then choose the end point where you want this clip to end. And let's say we want it to end here and then just press save as a copy. Downloads, save. And here's our clip. Let's drag it in. And it looks like this. Okay, and now I want to show you how you can do the same thing in DaVinci Resolve. So you can either drag in the already cut clip that I just showed you, or you can drag in the full unedited clip, and I'm going to show you how to cut it. So I'm going to drag in the uncut clip. Okay, so there it is. Let's go to here. So here's our clip. Let's close all of this up. We don't need it. And now you want to take your clip and drag it to your timeline. So like this. All right, so here's our unedited clip. As you can see, it's the same one as before. And the easiest way you can do it, do it is just take the start of it, drag it where you want the clip to start. And they take the end of it and do the same thing, just where you want your clip to end. One thing before we move to part two, let me know in the comments if you are following along and creating your own clips. I will go to your channel and check it out. So for part two, I want to show you guys two ways that you can edit this clip. But before that, we have to change one thing in the project settings. We have to change the resolution so it fits the TikTok and YouTube Shorts format. So you want to go to File, Project Settings, and we have to change this resolution to 1080 by 1920. Now we only have to figure out how we want to present this clip to the viewer. One way to do this is just to zoom in so that the clip fits the whole screen. So just select your clip, go to zoom and drag it to around 3.5. And it's going to look something like this. Or you could also leave the clip as it was before without adding the zoom. So let's undo the zoom. And you could go to effects. Under filters, you could search for blanking, blanking fill, drag this to your clip. As you can see, so this is going to create a duplicate of your clip around your clip. So it's going to fill the blank space. 
And if we go to settings, under effects, here you can change this effect however you like. There's a few things that I like to do. So under source, I like to remove this crop effect, as you can see here. Um, you could scroll down a little bit. We could uh, blur the background a little bit more like this, and we could blend the edges. So it looks nicer. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. All right, so our clip is pretty much ready. Whether you chose to create the zoom effect or maybe you chose this blanking fill effect. Now all there's left to do is to export this clip. So let's go to this export section here. Here there's a couple of things I like to change. Firstly, I like to change this to MP4. And under quality, I like to change this to restrict to 80,000. Now all you have to do is add to render queue. It's going to show up here and press render all. Now you just have to wait a little bit. Our clip is ready. We can now share it on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, whatever you prefer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if you created your own clips and I will check them out. Bye-bye.